Hey, what's up guys? John from Mongo Fishing. Today I'm on my way down to Lake Chico. Down, it's pretty much down like in the, the uh, I don't know, Arkansas, Louisiana, Mississippi border. Like it's way, way down south. Um, I've never been there before, never a day in my life. But we're gonna go down there. Um, we have a tournament down there. We're gonna see what we can do. It's, uh, I'm just gonna go fishing. It's a very, very large oxbow lake you know, down on like the south east border of Arkansas. Um, again, Lake Chico, never been there. Never even heard, like I'd never even heard of it, I had to Google it. Uh, but anyway, so let's see what we can get ourselves into. Regardless if I do well or if I suck, I'm still putting the video out anyway. Um, I guess it's time to get on the road. So hit that subscribe button, let's do this. All right, so Chico's plugged in on the GPS and I only have two and a half hours to go. It's gonna be a really, really long day. <laughs> Got a limit yet, Jarrett? You guys working down this bank or going in? Go wherever you want to. Okay, thanks. I don't wanna cut anybody off, that's what I was asking. Doesn't take much for miscommunication and people get their feelings hurt and Tabby, which way are you going? I'm, uh, I'm going to head back down that way. That way? Yeah. Okay. Sorry. No worries. I just don't want to cut you off. Here we go. Now. Yeah, big white. Nice. Not the fish we're fishing for, guys. Net. Need net. Good job. There's a large mouth. Yeah, I think it will be, but let's find out. Twelve? Yeah, it is a fat one. Good job, dude. No. His was short. You got your limit yet? Man, I'm I'm all I'm all on these these uh, limbrim. Them tree pounders. They pull good. Yeah. yeah. Those stick pounders. Like that one. Yeah. That's a good one right there. Yeah, it ain't moving, is it? No, nah, that's a good one right there. <laughs> you feel the head shake? Yeah. Hey, that's why he got the. That's why he got all six trebles right there, man. <laughs> At least they caught one, but it ain't away, but it's something. It's fun. You got the spike off. Yeah, it's fun though. It's barely working. Oh, he spit it. My limb brim spit it. Oh, man. Should have got the net. <laughs> I actually thought this causeway was going to be a lot longer. Yeah, I see that. Like on the map, it looked significantly bigger. I'm torn, Kevin. I'm really torn. I think that if I throw a crankbait, I stand a chance of catching more fish. But I think if I throw this swim jig, I stand a chance of catching the right fish. Right now I'm trying to get a keeper, and so I wanna throw that crankbait, but I keep getting stuck on everything. This reminds me a lot like Conway. 
It's a lot like Conway. All right, let's move. We've been here too long with no results. I just really think they should be on white right now. I'm not seeing any bluegill. I think they're on shad, but I can't get bit. Look at all that shad, dude. You can't tell me there's not a big bass around here somewhere. You can't have all that food. And no predators. I've had one swim jig bite and I missed it. I was pulling my swim jig out of the water and he smoked it. There's one. That one got the swim jig, though. Well, thank you for letting us go past you. That's not me being an ass or anything. Like, that's legit. Thank you. Because I like to move fast and I like to. I know. Just a little too close, though. A little too close. My bad, dude. What, ca what caught me off guard is he was not near the dock, he was out here. He was like out here in open water. Oh, okay. Yeah. 
I was trying to get there. It's all right. All right. I seen it jump, dude. Look at that, dude. That's a good one. Hooked right in the top of the mouth. Yeah, we gotta move over there. On a swim jig. Number two. He's probably three and a half. Which feet? All right, guys, so there's a wrap on the Chico video. Um, I apologize if it's kind of uh, noisy with the ambient noise. It just got done raining, so we got water coming down all the drains. Um, it is what it is. I apologize for that. But I had to get out here and film this while I could before the next rainstorm started. Uh, so the chesty cut out early in the day. I think it overheated. I don't know why it shut off, honestly. Um, it, it shut off, though. And then the Yolo Tech, it shut off again for some reason. I, I don't know why that shut off either. But you guys really didn't miss much. A couple small fish catches after that. Uh, I missed a, a big bite, but I can't guarantee it was bass. Could have been a big catfish for all I know. It was probably a bass due to where it was and how it bit, but there's still no guarantee it was. So let's get into the stats real quick. There probably won't be a part two of this video. I'm gonna try to cover everything right now since the footage itself was short. Um, so this was TBF of Arkansas. There's a three tournament series. They take the best two out of three and the top 10 at the end of that season will move on and fish the national semifinals. So with it only being a, you know, a three tournament series, you got to do well. Um, I had never been on Chico. It's almost three hours from the house, man. So I didn't really, I didn't put in any time at all practicing. I just did some Google Earth stuff, did some talking with some people stuff and uh, just wanted to fish conditions and try to catch fish how I wanted to catch them which in this case, I wanted to catch him on a swim jig. I knew the water temp was the right temp that it needed to be swim jig fishing, and I just had a gut feeling that I could do it. I figured I'd catch more fish throwing a crankbait, but I figured I'd catch the right fish throwing a swim jig. If I could get five bites, I figured it'd be the five that I could, that I could catch to win the tournament. And if I couldn't get five bites, well then, that was the gamble I was willing to take. So, uh, we had 20 boats and 15 co-anglers. With TBF, if they don't have enough boaters, a boater will fish by himself. They won't do boat on boat draw, thank God. But yep, 20 boats, 15 co's, and out of all 35 people, they only weighed one limit. It was a grind for everybody. Um, in fact, they only weighed 15 people total between boats and co's, only 15 people weighed fish. So it took 1491 to win. That was the one solo guy who had a limit. Uh, and that was on the boater side. On the boater side, it took 455 to cash a check. Um, I finished in second place, guys, with my two fish that weighed, that weighed 786 and big bass of 440. So came out of there with, I think, $600, if I remember right. Uh, 10 of the boaters zeroed, so exactly half of the field. On the coast side, it took 921 to win, and the uh, and like a little less than three, if I'm right, a little less than three pounds to cash a check on the coast side, and 10 of the 15 coes zeroed, so 66% of the coes zeroed. Um, I caught both of my fish, both of my keeper fish. I caught several fish on a crankbait earlier in the day. I was throwing a uh, Castaic uh, 1.5, uh, that'll be linked in the description down below. Use that little promo code. Gets you 20% off their whole entire website, except for clothing, but anything, 20% um, off. Uh, those are my short fish, the ones that I caught on video and the ones that I caught not on video. Um, my keepers came on a Brazalo Custom Lures swim jig in my color, Mongo's Minnow. That's my favorite color anyway. Not just because it's named after me. Oh, that's pulled off. Not just because it's named after me, but because um, I've been throwing that color since before that color was sold to the public. Danny made me that custom color a year or two ago, and I've just been wrecking fish ever since. And um, now that it's available to the public, you guys can pick them up down below on brazellocustomlures.com. Uh, again, down in the description, promo code down there, 15% off uh, their website. Everything was on a Denali Covert, 
rod, a loose LFS reel, and I think I had 15 pound fluoro that I was throwing it on. I can't remember, I'd have to go look. I think it's 15 pound fluoro. Um, swim jig trailers. So uh, I threw a couple different swim jig trailers because there was some, some swim jig footage that I didn't have on there because I switched colors a couple times. That Mongo's minnow is what I wanted to keep throwing. But when I wasn't getting bit on it, I decided to go and throw black and blue just in case if they were eating bluegill. Then I saw all the shad and I knew they've got to be eating shad. They're not eating bluegill, so I went back to Mongo's Minnow. Um, Motivated Fishing Exodus Swimmer Pro is a great swim jig trailer. Again, that'll be linked down in the description below. Or the uh, Motivated Fishing Revelation Craw is also a really good swim jig trailer. It's similar, to, I like to cut it down. It's similar to like um, a Rage Menace. Uh, when it's cut down into a little smaller, more compact size. Um, so anyway, check those out too if you guys want. If you guys have any questions, feel free to drop them down below. Um, just make sure you comment anyway. If you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up. If you guys learned something, give it a thumbs up. Um, make sure you guys subscribe to the channel if you have not. Share it. This is how we got to make the channel grow, guys. Um, and I really need your help doing this. So again, guys, thank you guys very much for supporting me in the first place. If you guys have any questions, again, feel free to drop them down below. As always, get on the water, be safe, and go stick some lips.